First, after we turn on the switch, we'll see this large screen. If the image isn't clear, we adjust this part here. This is the lens. By rotating the lens, we can make the image clearer. Just twist it a bit to the left or right, and that'll do. Be careful not to touch the lens with your hand, because if you touch it, the image will become blurry. And this knob here is for adjusting this. You can preview the size of the area. See, there's only one red dot, one red spot. This area represents a heating zone, a specific range. That's also possible. By turning this, you can make the light spot larger or smaller. Now let me introduce these buttons. This one is a setting button. Press it here. This is the maximum output power. Press it again, and this is a power preview mode. The power can be set lower, which can be used for preheating to prevent the chip from being heated too quickly. Press it once more and it returns to the normal interface. When you press it to reach the maximum power, this maximum power can be adjusted, right? But generally, since different chips have different packaging and sizes, the required power will also vary. You'll need to debug according to your actual product to find a suitable power range. And here, it's just a standard keyboard. This is a normal node, and this shows the current output power. Right now, since I haven't turned it on, it's zero. Here is the temperature you've set, and next to it is the actual temperature of the board, which means the tip uh, shows the temperature here, the temperature of the main board. Before using it, we need to prepare some soldering flux and a pair of tweezers. As for the motherboard clamp, you can use it or not. It's optional. It depends on you. If your hands are steady and you don't want the board to move, you can prepare a clamp. If your motherboard is relatively large, like those big board cards, you can just place it directly on this mat. It won't affect anything. For example, let's remove a chip now. First, we need to click preview. Right, the spot size is about right, isn't it? It's about this big. And now, while previewing, it's also heating up. You see, at first it was just over 50 degrees, but now it's already over 70, right? Apply a little flux as needed. Add a bit of soldering oil, right? Of course, while preheating, you can also increase the power a little. It's fine, isn't it?